so this is Buddy's last day. We're out for a little romp. Hey, bud. He has been um, absolutely the biggest sweetheart. Wonderful. Um, totally listening, following, being social with people and dogs. Um, really couldn't ask for a, a, bitter, a bigger change. That was, I guess, a blend between bigger and better. Bigger, better change um, with him just being, going from being super anxious, stressed out, reacting aggressively, um, to just being way more relaxed, happy-go-lucky, freedom up to, to be social. Um, so in social, I don't mean play with the other dogs and go running up waggy to people, but like being able to be around dogs and people and all kinds of environmental stuff going on and not react poorly. Um, so we were at group class last night. I had him out. He was like the model dog, better, best behaved dog there, sweet, polite, no reacting. Um, so he's walking just on a very, walks on a very simple slip lead, um, loose leash, doesn't pull. Um, he's just been perfect, just the perfect guy. Um, so it makes me super happy to, uh, to see the change in him, how fast he turns around. So he's going home today and like with, every dog the work actually starts the hard part is when he goes home when the owners are back in the picture is when all the stuff reverts back to how he used to feel with his owner it's always how it is with dogs um you know they do really good at a board and train and then um, the work really has to start when the owner is back in the picture um, because they'll just, if the owner doesn't change, then they revert automatically right back to who they were before because they start to feel the same way when they're with their person as they used to. So that's where all the hard work starts is when you pick up your dog. Um, hopefully you've been doing the homework um, while your dog is away at board and train, um, kind of following the, the videos and, and kind of just educating yourself on how to behave differently, what's important in their life, their structure, um, boundaries, who you are to them, um, leadership role. Um, and then you have to really be ready to come in as a new person and create a different relationship with your dog because this is not a case of this was an abused dog and that's why he's vicious to men and blah, 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 blah. It's bull crap. That's not the case. Um, this is, that kind of behavior is created by what you share with your dog, who you are, how you relate with your dog, um, what you allow, and what you encourage, and what you don't allow, what you discourage. So this isn't a case of he's so abused, it's gonna take him a long time to start to get over this stuff. That's not, that's not it. As humans, we create this stuff, and it's not from abuse. It's usually from being spoiled and entitled and not having any rules or boundaries, structure, having a really poor relationship where the dog gives the owner obedience commands, not the other way around. Owner follows the dog's obedience commands. Owner modifies their behavior. The dog doesn't modify, they don't modify the dogs. All this stuff adds up and creates a monster. So if you think about it, dog was truly abused 
nine times out of ten, if not more, they're not going to be aggressive. They'll say like, so many times, oh, you know, this dog must have been abused by, you know, man with a beard or a man with a hat, blah, 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 because they always react and go off on that, those people. So think about it. Come on, Sage. Um, if that were the case, don't you think this dog would be cowering and from men, not going after them? So anyway, there's, it's the whole abuse story. Everybody's got it with their dogs they've adopted or, you know, don't know their past. It's always the common theme, but it's not the case. Um, and we need to, it just gives us an excuse not to take responsibility for ourselves and our dog. So gotta let that go, that, that abuse rescue story doesn't serve anybody. You can see how, um, how it was affecting Buddy previously and how I haven't thought once of his back story, his history. Haven't given it one single thought. Um, only what I know of him, the dog right now, in the moment, who's in front of me. And that way, I don't feel sorry for the dog. I don't make excuses for the dog. I give the dog what it needs in the moment. I give it feedback. Yes, I like what you're doing. No, I don't. There's a consequence for shitty behavior and um, good, be you know, good behavior gets you good stuff. That's basically how it is. And super quickly, this guy turns around like most dogs and is just happy as a clam once he knows what the rules are around here, how the world works, and that he's safe, someone's in charge, doesn't have to be him, <clears throat> someone's in control of the other dogs and people that are coming and going, he doesn't have to be him, and he can just lighten up and be loose, happy. Hey buddy, car coming. Come here. Good. Sit. Good. Break. Good boy. Um, and it just frees him up to be like, well, just so much freer, lighter, happier, um, more relaxed, able to handle so much more of whatever <clears throat> comes his way in life. But anyway, I'm super long-winded on this. Come on, buddy. Eight minutes already. Um, anyway, that's Buddy. I've just been so happy with him. What a good guy he is. Um, he's feeling better health-wise. He's been getting um, a lot more exercise. He's trimming up, getting fit. Um, we're able to brush and groom him now, so I know that makes him feel a lot better. Get all that, get his skin and follicles um, healthier, brushed, get all that hair and crap off of him. Um, so that's all in all, he's just feeling way better in general, um, health-wise, physically-wise. Um, so I think exercise is going to be an important part for this guy to uh, to get out and get enough get enough uh, physical exercise in. So we can do that. We can put packs on him, have him carrying some weight. We can ride a bike with him. There's a lot of options, but, um, you know, him having a good, reliable recall off leash and a heel is going to be great because he can do some, uh, get some more exercise, but, um, but yeah, you gotta get, gotta get out with him and get him, get him the exercise he needs. He doesn't require a whole lot. He's pretty low energy for uh, having so much healer in him. Um, but still, he needs exercise to feel good. Um, and that's about it. That's Mr. Buddy. Buddy, come. Wiggle, yeah. Silly bear. Silly bear.